everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Amy and if you didn't already know I am pregnant and I am 37 weeks tomorrow which is so exciting to know that I'll be full term tomorrow so I thought I would make a start of packing my hospital bag and I just thought I would show you what I've packed basically so I'll start with my hospital bag Right, before we get into this video, I've watched the footage back and I completely forgot to include um, quite a quite important, a few quite important things that you do require in your hospital bag and that is an outfit for coming home in, so I just thought I'd insert this clip here. It's this oversized mama top, because it's really comfortable, so I've just got that and then, and that's from Boohoo. And then just some high-waisted, loose-fitted joggers from ASOS, which I was kindly given to by a good family friend. Please excuse what I look like. I'm not doing anything these days, so. So I have my headphones here, just so I can listen to calming music if I need to. So I've also got them. And my husband will be in charge of change for the car park, which is essential. And also, I need to get some sweets and some like cereal bars, maybe some crackers. And I'm going to get some raspberry Lucasade as well. So I haven't packed them just yet. And also a phone charger, which will be going in my husband's bag as well. So they're all the things that I need to get and I will be getting them very shortly. So yes, just thought I'd um, quickly mention this. This butterfly bag, it also has wheels on as well which is amazing. A very good family friend gave me this bag so I'm very grateful for that. So inside the bag, I'm very breathless these days so if you see me out of breath and panting. It's a normal occurrence these days. This is my water, so I thought I'd start with a water bottle. I actually have a straw inside it, because I believe that in labour it's good to have a, um, a drink with a straw. I'm not gonna pack this just yet, because I'm, I've, I'm drinking out of it at the moment. So just pop that there. Yeah, so I've got some, Flip-flops, these are just old flip-flops, which I believe are an essential in case I want to shower or or just want to wear comfortable shoes. Um, I also have, which I read was a really good idea to take in your hospital bag, is a fan. I already had this fan, so and it also has a stand as well, and you can take it out. I also have some fluffy socks and some normal socks. I normally have really cold feet, but I believe when you're in labour, you're very warm. So I just thought I'd put both pairs of socks in. Probably unnecessary, but I just thought. And if if I have to stay in a night or so, I can just come home in these socks. But I only live 10 minutes from the hospital, so we're very, very lucky that we're very close. Our house is very close, so if my husband needs to knit back to get anything that I've forgotten within my bag or baby's bag, we're very lucky, we're just sort of around the corner really. So, I've just got this bag and it's a this mama bag, I got this from Boohoo and this is just sort of like my labour, um, my labour sort of bag. So I've just got a sort of a scrunchie and some clips and a bobble because the last thing I want is my hair in my way when I'm giving birth or in labour so I've got some hair bands there I've also got a clip if I fancy putting my hair in a different way with a clip also Vaseline, I've watched many of these videos and Vaseline, lip balm, 
are essentials so I've got a just a tub and then just one I can put on my lips and these are really good for my lips I've bought bra I'm hoping to have a water birth so I just thought just a sports bra would be would be good so that's that so the next thing I've got in my bag is just some maternity pads from Boots which I believe are very very good maternity pads I've read a lot of um, good reviews on these particular pads from Boots so I picked up them and some just some disposable sort of knickers briefs as well and some breath pads which have just popped in this wallet I've also got two maternity bras because I'm hoping to breastfeed so I've just got a black maternity bra that unclips which unclips as well so when you have it on it unclips which is really handy I've just got the same in like this nudie colour not sure if this is a good colour for labour or birth or whatever but yeah it's just the same maternity bra so it unclips here which is really easy I also have two nighties as well and these are from Boohoo buttons running all the way down which is really good for after birth for um, skin to skin straight away after breastfeeding as well I've just got the same in grey I've actually wore these already and they're so comfy the cotton is really really soft okay so in this is like my also so I have a bag here this says a wifey for lifey and I got this from paper chase so in here we've just got some fragrance free deodorant because I believe fragrance free unscented is is really good um, to use so baby can smell your like natural smell so I've got that and I've also got it's actually a massive bottle definitely don't need a size this big but I couldn't see a travel size one so I've just got the Sanex and this is again zero fragrance I've got that one and I've just got some shampoo and conditioner and I've just got a just a toothbrush and I already had these in so I did I was gonna buy a travel toothbrush uh, I was gonna buy a travel toothpaste but I, I found this already in and this is just little capsules from Lush and it's really handy in any sort of tablets and you chew it and it's like toothpaste but it's in a tablet form so I thought I, was, so I just thought I'd just pack that because I already had it some dry shampoo I've also packed my travel size Charlotte Tilbury moisturiser because this makes my skin feel so nice so I thought I'd just pack it I might not use it but I've got it just in case I do use it and oh and I've just got the my expert midwife no harm a nipple balm. A few things I've got. I've got a just it's just in this pouch and it says sleep squad and it's just an eye mask and it's I love this, it's really soft. But I pop that in my bag. And I've just got some tissues as well. The last few things I've got is just a hairbrush. A flannel, a flannel in case it get really warm during birth. I can sort of damp the flannel and pop it on the forehead. And a matching and a matching towel as well. So that's everything in my bag. So I will get into what's in baby's bag now. 
this lovely Vans bag which I've had for a while now. I absolutely love it and it makes a great rucksack and has lots of different compartments which I think is great as well. First of all we have this Celia blanket from Tesco's which my nana very kindly got for us. So that's that one. So we all and um, we have this little comforter for baby with a monkey on the top and this is from the White Company which my mum very kindly got for baby. Oh, it's so soft. I just love it. When I was little, I had a monkey, so I think it's quite cute that this is a monkey as well for my baby. I also have in here two newborn clear dummies in case I feel like my baby needs a dummy. We have two here. I've watched quite a few of these type of videos and they're all sort of in sandwich bags so I've sort of put the things that I need in these plastic wallets that I already had and with the labels I already had which happened to be blue and pink so in this first bag it says coming home outfit and I actually packed this bag with my husband so um which is great and We've labelled them just in case he. it's just easier for him to get things out. Yeah, so this is the coming home outfit. I'm not sure whether I'm going to bother with a coming home outfit. But if I do, it's here if we need it. But I'm not going to get my baby changed if they're already comfortable in the clothes that they're wearing, if that makes sense, just to come home in. But I've got the coming home outfit anyway, so I'll just thought I'll show you what's in here. So we have this little... This little two piece from Tesco's. Little knitted little trousers with a matching top. And it says, Love me, love my friends, protect me, protect my world which is so cute and I'm huge on animals so I just love it so I think that's a really cute outfit and we've obviously got a little hat a long sleeve baby grow because it's the winter and some muslin no, and some mittens and some socks because this outfit doesn't have integrated um, mittens or socks so just pop them that pop them in this bag as well and they're all in size newborn as well the next thing we have I've got another little wallet and which says hats and mittens and again it's just hats and mittens basically what I've just showed you really Same little, same little hat and some socks and some mittens as well. Okay, so we've just got another little bag which says long sleeve vest. And again, we've just got some plain white vests. I believe they're from M&S, Marks and Fences. And we've got, I've got two of the two of these in this bag and one in the coming home bag so i've got they've got three long sleeve vests we have a pouch for short sleeves again it's just a plain vest one two three and i have four of these again from marks and spencers and the all size newborn as well. I'm hoping newborn will fit. I have no idea what size my baby will be. I don't even have an estimate to go off. I have no idea. But we live really close to all the shops and you know we're only 10 minutes from my house as I've said as well. So I'm not too worried about that. So next in this little pouch we have muslins I have 
three muslins. I'm not sure whether that's enough or again, I just, I really don't know. So we've got a, just a plain white one. One with a bumblebee on, which I love. And I believe these are from Tesco's as well. And then just a stripey, grey and white stripey one as well. So I've got three of them. I'm hoping that will be enough because I have also got a swaddle blanket as well. So which can also be used as a muslin. So I've potentially got four. And we have in this plastic bag is baby grows so again these are all newborn size sizes and we have this lovely elephant and a jungle theme one as well They're so cute. These two are from Mamas and Papas. The only thing that I would say though is that they don't come with integrated mittens, which isn't the best, I believe, but I, I still love them and they're still going in the hospital bags. So there's two of them. And then I have two, and these are just next, and it has a little giraffe here newborn baby grows and these have integrated mittens on it as well so all in all i have four baby grows i've packed two cardigans so the first one is from next and it's this sort of nudie beige cardigan with little bear ears it's really cute this is up to three months so this is a this is quite a this is a little bit bigger than everything else I've packed. So that's that one. And a cute little cardigan that my nana made for baby as well. So I thought I'd pack them too. And I also have a swaddle and muslin large blanket. It's got zebras on it. And it's because humongous, which is that's, which is great. And I've also packed this. I'm not sure whether I'll need it. And this is the newborn Tommy Tippy sleep grow sleep bag. And it's like just to sort of swaddle them in. And like I said, I'm not sure whether I'll need that. But I thought I'd just pack it. So I've got a pack of cotton wool here and I do also have the um, wipes as well and 99.4% water but I know some hospitals can be a bit funny about you using wipes so I just thought I'd put both in some more mittens I have like a little compartment which is really handy in this in this bag and we have a whole load of size one nappies. There's loads of these. I potentially, I've probably packed too many nappies if I'm being completely honest. Um, but I believe these are all size one nappies from Aldi again as well. Also packed some nappy cream again. I don't know whether I'll need it, but I've packed that just in case. I've also packed, just in case, to breastfeed, but just in case my milk supply doesn't come in, I've just packed the from birth up to mill first milk and a bottle. Again, I'm not sure whether I'll need it. The hospital where I'm going to might provide this, but I just thought I'll just pop it in the bag anyway. Yeah, so I can't wait for baby to arrive now, especially sort of putting all the bags together and they're ready to go. It just seems so surreal. I remember watching sort of these type of videos when I was about 20 weeks, thinking to myself, that'll be me soon. So yeah, it's crazy. But everything's packed and we're ready to go. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.